I'm Anetta Kozub. I'm one of the executive producers, and right now I'm adding last-minute changes to our prompter. We so still haven't had a dry run. You're executive producer, and you do the teleprompter? Yes, because I anchor. So why does that make you do the teleprompter? Well, anchors have to write their own prompters. It's standard procedure. Uh, they have to know what they're, they're saying. I am the technical director. I switch the cameras and make the graphics show up on the screen. Yeah, put it weather. Did you put in weather? Hey, Annetta, how many uh, scrolling graphics do you need? Are you printing that all out right now? I'm printing up the script. If you could look oh, through here, because I have to go with the research right now. What? Yeah, I can't start reading them. Right Just start reading them. Pass LFB, is it? Wait, is that it? Is that the list? No! And look through the prompter to find what you need. No, I need to sit there and look through the prompter so I know what's going on so I can tell both of them what's going this on. This is, like, hectic. It is hectic. It's a hectic day. Why? You're, like, already, like, four weeks the, into school uh, send and me, it's send getting me. worse. I'm the one who says the lights, camera, action thing, so that graphic's going to be yeah. on me. Yeah. She'll, she'll write it all there. Don't worry. Okay. It'll all be good when she sets it up. Where's the intro? It should be up. It says intro. How come you're so cool, calm, and collected? Because my job easy. <laughs> There's nothing to. Because he's our best audio, so he doesn't have to worry. Um, you think you could order another IFB for Brett one of these days, just so we can just do that? I know I haven't asked before, but just it makes it easier. Why does it seem so far off? Hey, Z, shouldn't shouldn't these cameras move over? Hey, can they hear us? No. Should these like move over? Can you give me a battery? Can you call them to tell them to fix something? To do what? To fix something. Fix something. Tell the prompter. All right. What do you need fixed? Should I go to the announcement? Uh, can you give it to Robin, please? Robin. Robin. T tell, tell her to pull up the announcement um, across yeah. country. The announcement for uh, sports, B2. Nick, where'd you find the tape? Nick, come here, you can't work. Girls cross country. I'll do it. It's a big one. It's right there. Right, right in front of you. Hey, are you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm always going to write this for Coach Chica. Back up. Yeah, thanks for it. How did weather come? Coastal cleanup on Saturday starting at 10 a.m. Be sure, to get, be sure to wear old sneakers. Also, Mrs. Carnute is still planning on going out to Honeymoon Island for anyone that wants to join. If you have any questions, please sit here in room F5. So we're going to start a drive. Yeah. Can you guys turn off the lights for me? I'm going to do intro. Is it that same Okay. Hey, we're going to do segments? No. No. Segments. no. We're just no. Going no. What's your rodeo lover on that TV? Oh, what's the last graphic uh, between uh, like, my name's Andy, Andy Osh, and, and I do teleprompter. Good. Uh, All right, I'm ready. We're ready. Press space bar, it make guys. it go. Oh, Slow it down and speed it up. Okay, depending ready. on how they're talking. We're coming up in five, go four, four, three, two, one. Switch. Coming up on UBC, Mr. and Mrs. Cougar Talent Show. Camera two ready. Switch. So we go to six. Roll. Okay. Now we're going to come back. Just come back now. Okay, we're coming back in five, four, three, two, one. One switch. Good morning and welcome to the Friday, September 21st edition of the UPC Morning Show. I'm Kyle Medic. And I'm Annette Cousin. Oh my god, he's so down. For those of you that are in the marine body in the 1900s, homecoming was created to attract the publicity oh. of colleges. So you just need it slowly years, and smoothly. So if you come on. Including the homecoming football game and spirit week. Check it out. And now let's go over to meteorologist Madison Honig with the weather. <laughs> PTR roll. <laughs> At the last minute, the producer had to cut the story about the Cougar Talent Show due to time constraints. Can you say that UPC is now on? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Are we on? So, like, how I just leave this, I'm going to switch it. That's good. Part of the producer's job is to keep the show on time. 
calories through her. Yeah. Do I need calories. to be in there? Yeah. 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 On your last okay. announcement. On your last Before end of show. Okay, we're going. We got to go. Just read. Just okay, read. No, no segment. Anetta. Hey! Okay. Camera one coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Coming up on UPC, Mr. and Mrs. Cougar Talent Show. We have all this and much more, and it's starting right now. World BTR. Switch. Can we turn down the TV going, please? Yes. No, no, no. Good morning, welcome to the Friday, September 21st edition of the UPC Morning Show. I'm Kyle Medic. And I'm Anetta Kozu. For those of you that are in the Marine Biology Club, just, just a reminder, they will be out at the Dunedin Causeway for a coastal cleanup on Saturday starting at 10 a.m. Be sure to wear old sneakers. Also, Mrs. Perdue is still planning on going out to Honeymoon Island for anyone that wants to join. If you have any questions, please see her in room F5. And congratulations to the following newly elected freshman. And now let's go over to Brett with the latest in sports. What do you have for us, Brett? The Cougar football team, it was an upsetting loss yesterday. The Darius Bellamy Dunedin's running back had a whopping 278 yards rushing with three touchdowns right, for the win. Okay. The Cougars had three touchdowns. The first touchdown of the night was a 14-yard pass from Ryan Epps to Richard Shockley. Scoring the second touchdown of the night was Maurice Streets with a one-yard run. Late in the game, Jimbo Chmelek had an 11-yard pass to Mar Martavius Jones. Making the final score 21-39 and putting them at 2-2 two two for the season. That's all I have today in sports. Now back to you, Annetta. With homecoming just around the corner, many are left wondering where the tradition originated. Beginning in the 1900s, homecoming was created to attract publicity among colleges. Over the years, it expanded and developed into a beloved celebration, including the homecoming football game and spirit week. For more information on the tradition we now annually celebrate, look into the first edition of the Pop Print. And formerly featured in MTV okay, we'll True Tell Life, Lori okay, Smith visited countries like to talk about her to talk to students about her life experiences with drug abuse. Here's her story. So six, go. Yeah. Okay. 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 The Pinellas County College Fair will be held this Sunday from 1 to 3 p.m. at the USF St. Peter Campus Activity Center. It's located on the corner of 6th Avenue South and 2nd Street South. If you need any directions or a campus map, please go to the website at the bottom of the screen. Also, Officer Cavalieri will be talking about careers in law enforcement at the Career Center directly after school next Monday, the 24th. All are welcome to come and check it out. And now let's go over to meteorologist Madison Honig with the weather. It's a beautiful day today out here at Countryside High School. It's and that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Anetta Kozu. I'm Kyle Medic. And I'm Brett Wozniak. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh my God. That's how it's done. In the end, Madison was the meteorologist. Brett's football B-roll went off well. And Zach worked well with Nick. On Monday, we'll have a story on homecoming preparation and reenactment actors visiting our school. Zach was told in no uncertain terms that if he left, he would be off the show for good.